is back once again. You're welcome to the DIY science experiment sessions with me, Khushi Gupta. So, have you ever wondered why some things floats on water or why some things sank down? Do you, do you ever remember the ship, the big ship? They always floats on water and the small or little small nail sinks down in the water. Why does this happen? Well, the answer is of only one word. Can you guess this? The answer is density. Density is the cause of the floatiness and the sankness of any object or uh, the substance. So let's perform an experiment so that we can explain uh, why this happens or what is the phenomena behind it. First, let's understand what is density. Any guesses? What is density? So, density is a measure of how compact the mass of an object or the substance is. You can calculate by the simple formula that is mass upon volume. Density is the ratio of mass to the volume of any particular substance or liquid that you are taking. So, uh, what can we say we need mass and volume to know about the density of that substance or that liquid. Density is one of the basic physical properties of any substance. Density can be lesser or higher. Density has, uh, everything has its own unique density. Suppose water, water has its own density and some oil, oil has its own density. So that cannot be equal. That are way different to each other. Less denser things floats on water or higher denser things sinks down. This is the basic principle we, sh we should know about the density. Lesser, den uh, lesser denser things floats and higher denser things sinks down in the comparison of liquid in which you are putting that substance into. Okay? So now let's perform our experiment and quickly switch to the workstation. Here we go. So we have switched to our workstation. Now let's perform the experiment. So the materials required for the experiments are two glasses of water, two lemons, one tablespoon and a bit of salt. So firstly fill both the glasses with normal tap water. We have already done it. Now take one lemon. We have taken one lemon and let's put it in one of the glass filled with water. You will notice that the lemon will sink in the water and here it goes. The lemon sinks down in the water. Now add 2 tablespoon of salt into the water. And mix it well. By this you will obtain a salt solution and mix it well until the salt dissolves in water completely. It will take some time because we have uh, the quantity of salt is much thin of the water. Now put the other lemon in the other glass of salt solution. So let's do it. Here we see, here what we have, we can see that uh, the lemon in plain water will sink but the lemon which is in the other class of salt solution will not sink but float on the salt solution mixture. Why? Why does this happen? Due to the density. We have uh, the denser salt solution than lemon and the tap water is lesser lesser denser than the lemon. That's why the lemon in the salt water is floating and the lemon in the normal tap water is uh, sank down. 
so what did you understand about this experiment let's see one ppt to make it more clear understand what is density density is mass upon volume density is a word we use to describe how much space an object or substance takes up in relation to the amount of matter in that object or substance if an object is heavy and compact it has a high density if an object is light and takes up a lot of space it has a low density experiment will lemon float or sink we will know the fact that the things which have a lesser density of water or the other liquid float on it when we put a lemon in simple water it sinks because the density of lemon is higher than the density of water on the other hand when we put lemon in the salt mixture then it floats because the density of the lemon is lesser than the density of water I hope you got it. I hope you got all the answers behind the sinking and the floating principle of an object. So, perform this activity at your home under the guidance of your parents and send your videos to us. Bye bye, stay tuned. Bye bye till next time.